Okay, Dan, thank you. The Frisco ISD School Board started taking a serious look at budget cuts to make up for an anticipated $30 million shortfall that'll hit them next school year. Yeah, and that funding would have come from a property tax hike that voters rejected late last month. Fox News Brandon Todd at Frisco ISD to give us a closer look at what's on the table. Brandon. Well, Clarice, Steve, board members here are going to basically work from the top down, essentially choosing those things first that the district absolutely needs and cannot part with, and then work their way down to possibly things that could be cut. I talked with a representative from the UEA uh, who told me tonight this is a bitter pill to swallow for teachers. A tax ratification election debrief. Frisco school board members began the painful task of cutting $30 million from next year's budget. At the top of the list of ideas for consideration, not opening four new schools, a salary freeze on all employees, and an extra fee to play extracurricular activities. Things that were looked at and analyzed as a possibility before the election, and now that the, the election did not pass, we're bringing them back to the table. Frisco has a unique challenge. After urban sprawl and explosive growth over the past decade, the district is left trying to fund the day-to-day -day costs of new schools, buildings, and facilities. The 13-cent property tax increase voters struck down would have funded that well into the future, as well as cover salary increases approved last year with hopes that the vote would pass. And the district is quick to point out the $30 million shortfall and the $30 million the district paid to lease the new star complex are not the same. There are two different avenues of funding and they, there's no overlay there. It was unfortunate that that was something that was, uh, was perceived by a lot of folks. Looming budget cuts make elementary teacher Karen Dilworth nervous. It definitely adds to the work level and the stress level. She's the president of the UEA here in Frisco and says one of the real possibilities of these proposed cuts is larger class sizes, which would make things harder for educators. We've been loyal to the district and we believe in the district and um, it's, it's really hard to accept that we're not being valued. And it, it's not just the uh, the 30 million or that money that would have come from that tax hike, Clarice. It's also $30 million worth of state funding that the district was used to getting that starting next year, they will no longer get. Just adding to the frustrations here. Yeah, Clarice. there's a lot at stake. How would you describe the mood in the room? Well, board members were certainly frustrated tonight. One of them even kind of uh, alluding to the possibility that if voters here knew more about uh, what was going on or what was at stake, maybe that vote would have been different. But first thing they wanted to do tonight was to create a committee to look at some of the other things that could be cut that might not hurt as badly. Maybe staff travel, professional development, maybe even staff hiring. Uh, that budget will be approved sometime next summer, Clarice. It'll be a long road until then. All right. Good reporting tonight, Brandon. Thank you.